Okay. Um, hi, here's another uh, question on uh, circuits. Uh, this one in particular has to do with the relative brightness of bulbs uh, connected in parallel like this uh, to a 230 volt supply. And the question could say um, that these are all lit and then there's a break here in the circuit some, somewhere and the, the, the whole branch uh, cuts off and uh, they ask you what happens to the brightness of the other bulbs which are still connected, whether it goes up, down, stays the same, or what happens there. So in order to answer this question, it'd be, uh, it's good to do some calculations and to, to make sure that we, we understand why the answer is what it is. So uh, let me not spoil it for you and let's do a few calculations and see what happens. Okay, so um, let's start by using a bit of uh, common sense and uh, some circuit knowledge. So we know that there's 230 uh, volts EMF being produced here and therefore thanks to Kirchhoff's second law we know that there's going to be a drop of 230 volts uh, throughout the circuit and since these are part of the branches we should be okay now with the fact that the, they all have the same drop through them so there's going to be 230 through this one, through that one and through this one and uh, so that we can use that to, to reason, well if these are all identical bulbs, which for this question we, we will assume that they are identical, and also let's uh, say that the resistance of each bulb uh, is going to be equal to 1 ohm. Okay, uh, it's, it's, it's very low resistance, so we're going to get a, you know, a huge current, it's not going to be very realistic, but uh, just for calculation's sake this will make things easier. Okay, um, so if there are five bulbs in uh, one stretch here, one part of the circuit, and there's 230 volts going through, then it's very easy to calculate what the voltage through each bulb. So if the, uh, there's five, um, so here we can say each, for each bulb, we can write down this information. The voltage through each one is going to be 230 divided by five, right? Each branch has the same the same voltage uh, across it. So that comes out to be, if you do it in your calculator, uh, it comes out to be 46 volts uh, going through each bulb. So that much seems fine. And uh, so we can we can use the um, Kirchhoff's first law and the, well, just Ohm's law uh, to calculate the current going through the whole circuit, right? Now that we know the resistance of each bulb, uh, we can use the resistance formula and so we can say okay for for the whole circuit for the whole circuit I always like writing these things down so I know what I'm calculating because at the end you can have a mess and it can get confusing so it's good to have a little title like that so the whole circuit V is equal to IR and R is given by the formula 1 over the total resistance of all the resistors is equal to 1 over um, one of them is got a resistance of 1 ohm, so that's 5 of them in series that's going to have a resistance of 5 ohms. So that's one branch, 1 over 5, and there's 3 of those branches, so that's 1 over 5 3 times, which is 3 over 5 for 1 over the resistance of the whole of the 3 branches. So why are we doing this? We want to find the current in the whole circuit so that we can then split it up and see what happens when we close one circuit, one branch off and, and what happens to the to the brightness and the, and the power. Uh, okay, so um, yeah, so just to take you back from, from uh, to put it into context, uh, if they ask us about brightness, like here, Really what we're interested in is the power going through the light bulbs, okay, because the brightness has to do with the power, and the power equation is power is equal to current times voltage. So we need to know the voltage through each bulb, and how that changes, if at all, when one of the branches disappears, and we need to know the current through the each bulb, and with that information in both situations, where there's the three branches, and when one of them has closed, you can compare the two answers, and see where this changes uh, or not, uh, when you cut one out. So that's the idea. And so let's find continue with this so we can find the current going through the circuit. So that's 1 over R. So uh, this implies that what, uh, the R that I'm interested in is therefore uh, the reciprocal of that, which is 5 over 3 ohms. That's the resistance of the whole 
of the whole circuit, assuming that this has no internal resistance and the wires don't have any resistance either. And so the current that uh, goes through the whole circuit is then V over R, where V is 230 and R is 5 over 3. So when I divide by 5 over 3, the 3 is down here, it goes up to the very top and uh, I multiply up there and I get a current of uh, pretty unrealistic uh, 138 amps, which is a pretty big current going through the full circuit. So that's my information for the whole circuit and that's all fine and well. And this is uh, good to specify here that this is bef with three branches, right? So this is before we've taken away one of the branches with three branches. Um, and the question was saying, well, what happens when you take one of the branches away? Or one of these things breaks up and all of those light bulbs go off. What happens to, to the other? Do they go brighter or, or not? So, um, this is all true for the three branches. And so let's have a look at the power uh, with the three branches that goes through each bulb. Well, the resistance in each of the three branches is the same because the, uh, there's the same number of bulbs in each branch and each one has the same resistance. So. Um, that current is going to split in three equivalent uh, currents. So uh, the currents through each branch. So this is still working with, with um, I'm going to use the same color, with the three branches. So the current through each branch is going to be I, um, you know, I dash. It's going to be equal to I over three. and 138 divided by is also 46 so uh, this gives a current of 46 amps through each branch uh, which is a coincidence with the voltage and so well yeah anyway um, 46 amps through each light bulb so if I know I'm interested in the power or through going through one bulb uh, in either of those three branches, in, 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 in any of them, it would be equal to the current times the potential difference through through uh, across each one. So that's 46 times 46, right? It's 46 is the voltage also. So that comes out to be a power of 2116 watts, which means that this is uh, the number of joules that uh, every second is uh, consumed by uh, one of those bulbs. This is pretty unrealistic also, it's a pretty huge amount, but um, anyway, there are bulbs that, that with that much um, wattage. So, um, now we have the answer for the wattage and the power and the brightness, therefore, of the bulbs when the three branches are active. Now let's use a different color and do the same calculation for when there's only two... Um, for where there's only two branches and see what we get. So let's see here for the whole circuit for whole circuit with two branches. Okay for the whole circuit with the two branches we also use V is equal to IR and now um, current is going to equal you know the same as before v over r but now r is going to be different right because one over r now is going to be one over five bulbs now one of them has been disconnected completely we only have one over five ohms plus one over five ohms so there's a different total resistance now which is two over five uh one one, one the reciprocal of it so five over two ohms is the total resistance of the circuit when there's two branches so now there is Two, uh, you know, this five divided by two is two point five. Well, that was five divided by three. So, uh, you know, divide something by three, you get a smaller number. So there was less resistance now. Now that there is a branch off and there's only two branches, there's a larger resistance because in parallel, that happens when you add a new branch, the resistance goes down. So now there's two branches, there's high resistance, and what's going to happen to the current? Well, I is two hundred and thirty divided by uh, five over two. So the two comes to the top multiplies there and we get a current of 92 amps 
So this is occurring through the whole circuit when there's only two branches. So here there's 138, here there's 92. There's less current now than before because the voltage is the same, the EMF is the same, but the resistance has gone up. So the voltage is, um, so the, the current is lower. But what happens to the power? Well, this current is now going to split up in two, right? Because there's only two branches over there. So what do we get if we, we calculate the individual branch uh, current for, for each one? So it's 92 divided by 2. And that is the same as 46, right? Because 45 gives you 90. So 46 is 92. And uh, 46 amps through each branch gives you um, the same current that you had before. If you, if you see here, we had 46 amps here. We also have 46 amps here again. So that's interesting that we get the same current going through each branch even though that the total current is different. Now it splits in two instead of three. So um, it's as if the circuit's adapted for the fact that it's now missing one branch, the current steps down and you still get the same current through each one. That's interesting. And so what happens to the power now that you have um, three, uh, only two branches? Well, current times voltage and the current is 46 amps and the voltage is still 230 divided by the five bulbs going through it. Uh, the, the 5 volts, uh, volts it has to share itself with. So 230 divided by 5 is still 46 volts. So again here you have 46 times 46 and you get exactly the same power and therefore exactly the same brightness to the light bulb. So in other words when you have a few different parallel uh, branches to a circuit and you cut one of them the, the resistance of the circuit changes in such a way that the current then falls, uh, drops the current is now shared between less branches, so it is still the same current through each branch, and therefore the power uh, delivered or uh, used up in each light bulb is um, exactly the same as it was before, so you will not notice any changes in brightness. And I encourage you to do the same calculation now, but by chopping off the last branch, uh, the, you know, the second branch, and then seeing what happens when only one branch is left, and seeing whether that changes things or not. Okay, so for, uh, for when you're doing these problems, I recommend you definitely, definitely, definitely uh, always put a little title uh, for each part of the calculation to see, uh, you know, especially these things before and after, uh, to see where you are with your calculations and everything. Mine are not particularly ordered, but, uh, you know, on paper it would be, would be different, but definitely always let the examiner know what you're calculating so he can give you uh, method marks if uh, in case you make any calculation mistakes along the way and you're working or anything like that. All right. Uh, especially important with circuit theory questions. All right, so hopefully that, uh, that helps. And I'll, I'm going to do another one um, just now, a uh, slightly different one, which is a continuation of this one. So hopefully uh, between this one and, and the next, you'll get a, a good idea of what happens to the brightness of, of light bulbs when you start chopping parts off the circuit. All right, take care. See you in the next video.